Hello everyone, my name is TechDoc. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Snaps in Debian. So let's get started with the video here first. First off, what you'll want to do is that you'll want to launch up your terminal here. Now I'm going to zoom way in here. And what you'll want to do here is that you'll want to do, you'll first want to run sudo app update here. And what this will do here is that this is going to refresh the repositories here. Then once you've done that, all you'll need to do is do sudo app install snapd. Hit Y for yes. And then hit enter. And this will take a bit of time for me. So I'm going to pause the video and be back when it's done installing here. Okay, I am back. And that and now, now now, what we need to do is that we need to install core. So what we need to do here is we need to do sudo snap install and then core. Enter. And then what it's going to do here, it's going to install core from the stable channel. And this is needed to install a lot of snap packages from the snap repository. So. Um, yeah, so I am actually going to pause the video and uh, be back when this is actually done installing. All right, the core repository is now installed and it's waiting for a restart. Basically, all we need to do is restart our system and snaps will be taken into effect now, basically. But before that, let's test out snaps and see if they actually work. Officially, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install a snap package called the snap store. So what? So let's go ahead and let's do this. To install a package, of course, all you have to do is just do sudo. You need to be have root privileges to do this. Snap install and then snap store and then hit enter. And what this is going to do here is that it is going to install the Snap Store. This is going to take a good bit of time. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to actually pause the video and be back when it's done installing. All right, the Snap Store is done installing here. So now let's see if it is if it's actually going to launch. Here. Let me go ahead and minimize this and do Snap. Okay, yeah. This is what I expected. So in order for snaps to take effect, we actually have to reboot. So I'm going to pause, well, pause the video, reboot, and then come back when I have officially rebooted. So I will be back. Okay, I am back. I have rebooted. Now let's see if the snap store has actually installed here. So. I'm just going to type snap, and yep, it has installed. Let's go ahead and see if it launches. And it might take some time for it to launch here. And it's actually getting some catalogs that is being downloaded here. This will actually take some time, so I'm actually going to pause the video. Well, actually, never mind. It has actually came up here, and as we can see, it is here which is pretty cool. Now let's exit out of this and let me show you something else. So let's say we wanted to remove a snap. Like let's say we wanted to remove the snap store, which is actually something we can do. So if we wanted to remove the snap store, all we need to do is launch our terminal here. Let me zoom way in here. And all we need to do is do sudo because we need to be super, we need to have root privileges to actually do this here and then snap remove and then snap store so snap store and then hit enter and then put in your password and then what it's going to do here is that it's actually going to remove the snap store for us and it will automatically do this for us without a reboot because we already rebooted for snaps to actually take effect. So we are good. 
So all we need, so what it's gonna do here is that it's actually just going to go and just remove everything here. And it has been removed. If we go ahead and type snap, we can see it is actually no longer here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that will do it for the video today, guys. Hope you liked it. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Also, before I go, um, be sure to check out my links in the description. I have links to a Discord community, also my GitHub page to where my projects are and all kinds of stuff like that. So definitely go and check that out in the description and I'll see you in the next video.